The number of flights with United Airlines is set to take off. Signs of lasting damage due to a global microchip shortage are spotted at the Jeep plant in Belvedere. And Illinois' own Deer & Company figures into, it, into the Bill & Melinda Gates split. Here to go behind the headlines is Crane Chicago business editor and wire. So and United Airlines says that it is adding more than 400 daily flights to its July schedule. Are they on to something or is this too much too soon? Well, you know, the CEO Scott Kirby keeps on saying that they're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. And indeed, with the addition of these 400 daily flights uh, in July, they are about to go to 80% of the schedule that they were flying. Uh, in July of 2019 before the pandemic hit. Uh, now, in fact, summer travel demand uh, right now is up 214% from this time last year, just in bookings alone. So it does seem that with uh, mask mandates easing and uh, the vaccine being more readily available, Americans are eager to get out of the house and start traveling again, even to some European destinations. And United uh, just wants to be there to, to be ready to meet that demand. Yeah, a lot of us recall canceling uh, flights this time last year. Uh, now, right. more than 1,600 jobs are on the cutting board at Belvedere, Illinois, the Jeep plant there. Now, this seems odd considering that the demand for cars is extremely high right now, but what's going on? Well, as you mentioned, uh, Brandis, really what's going on is the same thing that's hobbling the entire automotive industry right now, and that's a crucial shortage of microchips, the, these little doodads that power everything from GPS systems to cruise controls in uh, modern day vehicles. Because of this shortage, which is global, by the way, uh, the Jeep plant in Belvedere near Rockford is uh, saying that they're going to have to cut the second shift of production uh, at their assembly plant there starting in July. That is a move that's going to affect almost 1,700 workers out there. Uh, and this comes on the heels of similar moves at uh, Ford's mega plant down uh, on Torrance Avenue on the far south side. Uh, so this supply chain shortage is definitely having ripple effects throughout Chicago's automotive uh, economy. So lastly, you know, I think a lot of people were shocked to hear uh, about the divorce between Bill and Melinda Gates a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but now to hear that the divorce has an impact on Illinois' own Deere and Company, what details do you have there? Well, it, it's, it turns out that Deere is a major holding of Bill and Melinda Gates, at least when they were a married couple. And now, uh, the in the wake of the announced breakup, uh, a huge chunk of John Deere and company shares are being shifted by the trust that controls the couple's assets to Melinda Gates. Uh, now, Melinda will now control about two and a quarter million shares of John Deere stock. That's a stake that's valued at about $850 million at uh, current market values. And that makes her individually one of the biggest shareholders in Deere. Uh, and it also uh, brings the total wealth that's been transferred to her since the announcement of the divorce to more than $3 billion. No small amount there. <laughs> and Wire at Cranes, thanks as always for joining us. Thanks, Brandis.